There has been a huge amount of movement with Ivan Perisic, the Inter Milan Croatian winger and Manchester United. Will he become Jose Mourinho's first summer signing? That is what the reports are suggesting, but because so much has happened in the last week, it's very hard to digest. So what we're doing here today is bringing you the full story right back from when the Perisic rumours started in February to where we are today and hopefully give you a bit of insight into what is going on with this transfer story. Now the first mention of Perisic to Manchester United came from former Croatian midfielder Dario Simic. Back in February 2017, he said that he could see Perisic playing for Manchester United in the future. He said, I expected Perisic to join one of the big European clubs in the last window. He definitely has the class for the biggest clubs. I can see him at Manchester United. So while these rumours are really accelerating in May, it all started back in February after comments from Dario Simic. Now the rumours really started in earnest back in March during the international break. Jose Mourinho was spotted in Croatia before the Croatia-Ukraine game, meeting long-term friend and transfer guru Predrag Majatovic. Now he helped Jose Mourinho bring Luka Modric to Real Madrid, so he's got experience of working in the past with Mourinho as far as Croatian players are concerned. Uh, and he was also reported to have met um, Perisic's representative out there, and he also went to see the Ukraine-Croatia game. Now Perisic didn't play in that game, but it's here where the real rumours started in earnest, and it's understandable that they did. And then we fast forward to May. Now, Sky Sports say that Manchester United are in talks with Ivan Perisic and that a move could be worth in the region of £35 million and the fans start to get excited about the concept of the Croatian winger coming to Old Trafford this summer. And then the transfer guru Gianluca Di Marzio came in and he had his say, he said that Manchester United had offered €35 million Euros for Perisic, but that Inter Milan wanted more in the region of 55 to 60 million euros. Quite a difference between what United offered and what Inter Milan want. Now we listen to what Di Marzio has to say because he was so spot on with the Paul Pogba transfer last year that he's earned the credibility to, especially with players from Serie A. And at that point, it only sounds like there's, it's just a case of Manchester United Inter Milan finding the right price for Perisic. Then Sky Sports come back into it and they say that Chelsea are also interested in bringing Perisic to Stamford Bridge. Antonio Conte obviously experienced in the Serie A after his years with Juventus. Could Manchester United lose out on Perisic to Chelsea? Maybe not because only a few hours later Sky Sports also said that Perisic preferred a move to Manchester United over Chelsea. So within the space of 24 hours we've gone from a bid on Perisic, talks with Perisic, to Chelsea being interested in Perisic to Perisic preferring a move to Manchester United, all accelerating very, very fast. Then the very next day, Perisic plays against Udinese for Inter Milan in a 5-2 win, and he played a starring role. He got two assists and a goal. Fantastic performance from him. His two assists were both down the left-hand side, cutting in and going towards the byline and then whipping across the cross, a really low cross, both knocked in. We haven't seen that much this season from Anthony Martial out the left. He tends, instead of to cut in towards the byline, he cuts out towards the edge of the area. And it's clear that Perisic has got a great left foot on him, a good goal as well, and a fantastic performance when all the eyes of the world are looking at him, following the interest from Manchester United. So it shows that he can play under pressure. And then Inter Milan's chairman wades into the situation. He confirms that Manchester United are interested in Perisic, but in contrast to Gianluca Di Marzio, he said that an offer wasn't on the table. But in his interview, what became abundantly clear was that Inter Milan would sell Perisic at the right price so long as the club could strengthen in key areas because FFP is coming into it, I think, for Inter Milan this summer. If they can sell Perisic for a good profit and spend that on two to three players to improve the overall squad, that's something they would definitely, definitely do. And then following all of that, the Mirror come out and say that Manchester United have a verbal agreement with Ivan Perisic and we find ourselves in the situation we are in today. Manchester United have not completed the signing of Ivan Perisic, but a bid is believed to have been made, even though Inter Milan's chairman has denied it. And it looks like he could be Jose Mourinho's first signing of the summer. But would that be the signing that you want to see us complete? I've seen some people complaining that they'd rather have James Rodriguez. Obviously, we missed out on Bernardo Silva, who joined Manchester City, much to the delight in the comments section on that Bernardo Silva video. But Perisic looks like a Mourinho signing, someone who's experienced, powerful, fast on the counter-attack. You can see hallmarks of a Mourinho signing in there. But would you be happy if he is our first summer signing this summer? 
Let me know in the comments below. Please drop a like on these videos. They take quite a long time to do. Hopefully it gave you some insight into how this Perisic transfer story has developed and to where we are today. And hopefully we can push Perisic over the line and he will become the first signing because for me, he looks like he'd definitely improve our options in attack.